Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for the month of April 2024. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus. What do we got? Ooh. We got a lot of love. That's what we got. Okay. The overall energy for the reading, the Three of Cups, that's that's love. That's love from one side to another, meeting halfway, that's love right there. Good. Starting off the reading, you get the King of Wands crossed by the Queen of Cups. That's a lot of love, a lot of passion. You feel that towards someone. Someone I feel like is feeling that towards you as well, but this is definitely more of an energy that's coming from you and how you feel about someone here. In your focus, the Nine of Cups really happy like i see you like a little teenager there like being like yeah yeah i hit the jackpot in love <laughs> you know i'm like okay 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 take it easy but really nice really nice energies okay in the recent past the nine of wands not so happy about that like no I, 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 love no or anything for that matter no i don't know what that is but there's definitely a rejection to something in your strength the king of cups that's basically the response from the other side here. It's right on top of uh, this Queen of Cups here. So that's, that's as I said, both energies are kind of in the same, um, in the same boat here. Boat of love. Uh, in the immediate future, the Page of Wands. This is the teenager I was talking about, you know, that sense of... Because it feels like when you're in this kind of a position and your heart opens up to such extent, it does feel like you're a little kid, like curious about the world, about like, oh man, everything's great, you know? So that's kind of the energy I'm getting here. Supporting this reading, the star. Um, that's basically getting uh, your wishes fulfilled, which kind of makes sense in this um the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it the page of cups there's something going on here there's love coming from someplace else too do, 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 do. okay uh in your hopes and fears the eight of swords um you're scared of starting to complicate things you know overthink things and just kind of get out of this emotion that you're feeling for the situation right now because this is something that you would feel even if it's for two minutes it's like it's something that makes you feel good um so you're scared to not take it up here and just kind of make a mess out of it for the potential outcome the ten of swords Ooh, that's a sense of defeat Man, this is an energy that rushes in so quick. You know when it hits you, that you feel that, oh my God, you know, and your heart, it feels like it's going away, you know, the, the next minute it's out, out the door. I'm like, why? Why doesn't it stay? What the hell is up with this energy? Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's do the three of cups. The Strength card, the Temperance, the King of Wands. There's that King of Wands again. There's there's someone at the other end of this. You're not alone in this. You're not just feeling this because, oh, I feel love for someone, but I don't know. I don't know where they're at, what they're feeling. I don't even know who they are. No, there's someone there at the other end of this. Is this or was this not reciprocated maybe? Because I'm getting a sense of they're finally there, you know, with you. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Either there was a break here or a pause or a disruption. Because I'm like, I'm seeing their, them there all along. But I do see a disconnect at some point where it's like someone's missing here. And then... I see that energy that's missing right back. So it's like, okay. Let me do the King of Wands. 
The Knight of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Five of Swords. There's a pause. This is the pause that I was seeing. It's pretty deceptive because it shouldn't even be here. It shouldn't have. I don't even know where things are right now. Because I feel like an energy is coming back around where it forms where the two become one again. But for a very long time, there was just one. And the other one was MIA. And now it's like, okay, we're back. So the missing part the period of time of missing in action here is pretty deceptive because it shouldn't have even happened. Okay. Because the energy of love was always here constantly. Oh. Giving me one of those complicated ones. Okay. Let's do the Queen of Cups. The Six of... Uh... The Six of Swords, the King of Cups, the Two of Swords. You are disconnected from this as well. It's not only them, it was the both of you. And guess how you were disconnected from this? By complicating things, by being up here and creating all sorts of stories about the situation. And that's why you're scared of this energy, because you know you're able to do that, you know? So for a split moment in time, the both of you removed all of that deception. Them on their part, you on your part. And it feels like this energy is freaking blooming, even if it's for a second, you know? The energy of love that makes one out of two. Okay, let's do the Nine of Cups in the focus here. For the Nine of Cups, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Page of Pentacles, the World card. Interesting. Because I see you coming back to this energy. It almost feels like this energy of love between you and another is always present as an energy. It's a matter of when do you connect to it? You know, when, when do you go and connect to this energy? And are they connecting to it at the same time? Because that, that makes it even bigger and potentially even stronger felt or something because uh, i see the two of you at the same exact time connecting to this and it feels like on both sides you know what i mean but you're showing me a sense of you're connecting to this energy from time to time which is telling me you're connecting to your heart from time to time um you're also giving me a sense of almost like it's a learned mechanism to do that I'll connect today for two minutes. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'm done. I'm going about my day. I'm doing my thing. Almost like it's a... Like you created a practice to connect to your heart from time to time where you learned how to do that. And you can do that just like that. You know, these days or something. Based on how you've learned to get yourself to do that. Which is quite interesting. Um, at the same time a little redundant it's like you don't have time to connect to your heart or do you want a specific time to connect to your heart i i, I don't know let me do the nine of wands in the recent past ace of pentacles eight of pentacles the emperor yeah you didn't have time in the past <laughs> you were busy you were doing you you were doing work whatever it is you were doing here it's like yeah i don't have time for this hard stuff it's fine. So definitely rejecting this, you know, in the in the sense of connecting to your heart, basically. But you're coming around, even if you're doing it two minutes a day or something, you know. Uh, man, it was interesting how it showed up there. Like I saw both energies at the same time, and it created this massive uh, love and just just beam of light or something. Pretty amazing. And then I see you being like, yeah, yeah, I'll go in there, do that, and then poof, I'm feeling it. Oh my god, my god, and then I'm out. Okay. Um, also giving me a sense of, you know, um, practice makes perfect, you know, so you're you're learning to connect to your heart more and more, which is a very good sign. Uh whoa. For the King of Cups in your strength, you get the Six of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Cups. 
There's something that's keeping these energies of love, again, big ass love here on both sides, separated. Um, where I see you here, them here, the resonance of love is freaking amazing. And imagine as an invisible cord that's kind of keeping you together energetically, even though physically you're separated here. And there's something in the middle that keeps this separation this illusion of separation it's not an illusion anymore because there's actually something in here i don't know what it is no idea it does look like another energy or two or three or four i don't know but uh okay let's do the page of wands in the immediate future you get the Page of Wands again, the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords. Huh, that's a physical aspect of things. You could be opening this up to the physical instead of keeping it just here energetical. You could be opening up to it physically. You or them, somebody here. You know, because it, it does feel good to the extent of, all right, let's do something about it. You know what I mean? So that's a possibility. Uh, the energy still feels... It almost feels like it's been activated after it's been dormant for a very long time. You know? Like this energy of love between you and another. Let me do the star and the supportive energies. The nine of wands, the seven of wands, the hangman. Yeah, there's not a lot. There's not a lot in the physical though. There's just... So think of these energies right here and... There seems to be not a lot of movement on this side nor on this side, you know, to to because that cord would supposedly pull the two of you towards one another. But if there's any kind of inclination to start moving, there's also a whole lot of resistance to that. There's like, nope, we're not going anywhere. We're not. Nope. Don't you dare make that step. You know what I mean? So you towards you, then towards them, basically. Mm, which is kind of disruptive to the process because this process wants to bring these energies together. But anyway, so let's do the Page of Cups for the energy that is hidden. The Ace of Swords, the Tower, the Ace of Cups. There's something. There's an impulse of energy here that's breaking through. So think of it as everything is functioning here energetically. Nothing is happening in the physical. And then there's a slip up in the physical. There's a, uh, you know, uh, how do I explain this? Let's say there's something going on and you know, and they know, because it's one of those heart to heart kinds of things where it's like, it's undeniable. None of you can say, oh no, it's not happening. Yes, it's happening. It's just a matter of nobody's doing anything. And at some point, one of you, clicks the like button on a picture of, from a hundred years ago on their social media or something, you know, there's a slip up like that, like a little pick, something. I feel like it's on your side because you're not seeing it. Um, in terms of you're not seeing it come in, you're not, it's, it's just a, uh, there, I did it. Okay. You know, and of course it doesn't have to be that example with social media, but something, something. I don't know. It's interesting. Interesting reading. For sure. Let me do the Eight of Swords in your hopes and fears. The Four of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun. Yeah, you just want happiness. That's your goal. Through this, outside of this, anywhere around this, anywhere outside of this, it's like, you know, that, that's my goal is happiness for the long term, because you could potentially feel like this is just temporary, especially because it just got activated right now. And it's going to feel like it's something of the moment, like, oh, eh, it's going to pass. You know, you could be taking it as that, where your intention is, no, I want something lasting, not something that's going to go away. But again, I don't feel like this ever went away or is going anywhere if anything it's going to become dormant again but not going anywhere you know what i mean so i don't even know what the hell this is but man it feels good let's do the ten of swords for the potential outcome 
The Four of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Cups. Uh, this is one of those energies where, um, let's say, I give you a... What do I give you? What the hell do I give you? I give you a nice um, bouquet of flowers, like big one, fat one with a lot of beautiful flowers. And it's like, oh my God. You know, and you're like, oh, thank you. Uh, and in order to give me something back, you would give me, what would you give me? Uh, a, a, a little candy, but it'd be very tiny, because that's what you had on you. It's like, here you go, you know. Um, and then getting a little bit upset with yourself because it's like that candy didn't do shit compared to those flowers, you know. Um, so you get upset with your candy, basically, uh, and thinking that, okay, I fucked this up majorly, you know, which it's not the case that nobody fucked up majorly. If I brought to you flowers, I didn't see here any indication of I'm expecting something in return that came from you as almost like a feel obligated to, to respond back. And I'm like, I didn't ask you for candies or anything, but you are like, here, 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 here you go, a little candy. And then I take it, I say, thank you. I leave and you're like, oh my God, I fucked that up majorly. Like I destroyed this. I'm done. I'm done forever and ever and ever. That's where the overthinking starts that you're scared of, <laughs> you know, because no, you're not done. You just had a little candy. That's it. It's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? So especially because I don't see any um expectation tied up to those flowers that were given you know so this is interesting this kind of stays up in the air but there's some interesting stuff going on around this aspect um but anyways let me see what the universe has the five of pentacles the emperor the king of pentacles you can shut this down in a minute you've had practice of doing that in the past here you know i'm busy i'm busy with work i'm, do I'm doing me i'm busy so that's almost like at this point in time you're using this as your um your remote of shutting this down think of this as your emotions getting all and then you're like you know when you've had enough it's like that we're shutting it off. I'm busy. But what's more interesting is that you've gotten to a point where it almost feels like you've got a handle on this in terms of when you want to bring it and when you want to feel it, you will for what it is, you know, with all of the intensity in it. With all... So it feels like you're the one that's waking this up, you know, activating this. Um, and you're also the one that's putting it to bed. So I'm not sure what this is. But definitely every time you're putting it to, to bed is the time where I wouldn't say you get bored because you wouldn't get bored of these energies. Something might be scaring you. You know, it feels good. It's intense. It feels uh, done. And it's like nobody would shut down something that feels so good. You know, unless they're scared of it. Unless something and it scares them. So I don't know. I don't know, but pretty cool reading in how it feels. So let's do the spirit of the animals. Oopsie doops. There's this one, the goose. Inner knowing. Let's see what you inner know. You're a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. Yeah, let's see here. The goose, journey, life path, stamina, navigation, knowing, bravery, valor, f uh, family, fidelity, loyalty, cooperation, communication. 
Geese are remarkable navigators and always find their way. They travel thousands of miles without worry. Geese make decisions based on what is best for the entire flock. If a goose becomes injured, their maid or one of the flock remains behind to provide support until death or recovery. Such loyalty is rare. Geese bind themselves emotionally to their mate, to family, and the flock. When they migrate, they naturally help one another by taking the leads in turn to conserve energy. Geese are not pushovers. They are very aggressive when protecting their young and their nest. Interesting, I saw some geese on the lake this morning and they were pretty loud. Um, but it was an interesting process that I saw there where there were a couple of ducks too that were swimming and they're like, sorry, I just reminded, I remember. They were almost kind of expecting, like calling out to the ducks to come join them. And then they got silent once the ducks were there. So they're, they're onto something here. If goose is your totem, you will love the excitement of the journey and hear the calling of far off lands. You will forge ahead with confidence and bravery. You are comfortable with change, adventure and new horizons. Like goose, you will always have the comfort of family and community. There will always be enough because abundance is your birthright. So you don't have to use this excuse with I have to work because you always have enough. See? Anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.